I'll take all of your belongings out of your pocket, put them through the window. Wallet, money, jewelry, and your bag. Would you state your full name, sir? Carl McCarty. What state were you born? Massachusetts. What kind of work you do? Would you give me your social security number? 015-489706. Turn to your left, face the wall. Harris, you want his prints next? No, I want his clothes. It's a rape and we need the evidence. I told you to face the wall. <clears throat> okay, he's all yours. Give him a cell by himself. All right. That's what you call him. Okay, Carl, I'm gonna level with you. We have a positive identification from the girl, uh, or Rachel, and two witnesses who say they saw you with her at the tennis courts. Now, we don't need a confession. That's up to you. Cigarette? Yeah. All I want is some information for the report. Let's see. She says you knew her name, Carl. Had you met her before? Yeah, I knew her. She knew me, too. How did you know her? I met her in class. But it says here you were never enrolled in the university. Well, you know, I never registered or anything like that, but, uh, come on, I, I, I caught a couple classes there. And you met her in a class? Yeah. The thing is, I don't think you understand. I asked this chick out, and she's trying to pin this thing on me. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Thought you might like to see this. Yeah, thanks. Okay, last Wednesday night you asked her out. Is that right, Carl? Yeah, I asked her out. I uh, asked her out to play some tennis. Uh, you know. She told me to pick her up after class. So, uh, you know, I picked her up after class and we went on the tennis courts.
Hello, Rachel. So it was like I said before, I just picked her up from school and went over to play a couple sets of tennis. I don't know, that's all. You played tennis with her before? Yeah, we played some. You spend a lot of time at the gym, don't you, Carl? Try to keep in shape. Spend much time in the parking lot? What? Carl, uh, I have a description here from the university police about someone who broke into a car at the gym uh, two weeks ago. Male. Caucasian, 20s, blonde hair, blue eyes, 5 foot 10. You don't think you're going to get away with this. Hey! Hey, hey, I'm being robbed over here. Hey, you can't pin that on me. I never broke into any car. Lots of guys that look like me do stuff like that. Hey, you know, I even had my tape deck ripped off last year. That kind of stuff always happens, especially on campus. People don't care. They don't lock their cars. It's the way they are. They asked for it. You know, I know this one guy ripped off a wallet right out of the professor's office, right in the middle of the day. It was easy. The door was wide open. She's in class now. You're not scared, are you? Come on. OK, look, 10 bucks out of the wall, it's mine. The rest we split. Deal? OK, I'll meet you in the courtyard in five minutes. OK, five minutes. No, you don't need that for before you take this one. But you do need both of them before your junior year. That's fine. No problem. Bob, how about going to Salem this weekend? Okay. The weatherman last night said that it was going to be clear and sunny. But you never can trust those guys. Okay, see you later. back to the rape. Look, I didn't rape her. She wanted it. Okay, Carl, why don't you just tell me what happened? Okay. Like I said before, picked her up from school, you know, we went over to play tennis. Hey, and when we got there, all she wanted to do was make out. I'm just learning. I've been out here just about every night this week. Been working out on the wall. Getting a pretty good backhand. You know, you just can't play with any racket. It's got to be a good one. Those cheap jobs do nothing but hurt your arm. Hey, did you ever see one of those films uh, about how to play tennis? Huh? No? I saw one once. Showed a guy hitting a ball with a cheap racket. No good. Showed it in slow motion. And you know, when he hit the ball, uh, right here, these bones, it was just like they, it was just like they split apart. It was just like his whole arm was blown apart. 
I don't take no chances. I found myself a good racket. You know, you really should try it sometime. It's a good sport. Get out. You don't have to do that. I'm not going to run. Look at me. Take off the jacket. Now the blouse. And she started taking off all her clothes and kept saying, let's do it right here. I was into it. No, we are at the tennis courts and all the lights were on, but I knew nobody was going to be around, so I, I went along with it, and I said, okay. What could I do? She wanted it. Hey, I'll tell you, you know, that's all I know. That's the truth, man. If you don't believe me, I could really care less. Doesn't matter whether I believe you or not. That's up to a jury. Come on, let's go. Right about one thing, though, Carl. In a way, people do ask for it sometimes. They think that college campuses are different somehow. That things can't happen there. But they do. And by not taking the simplest precautions, they leave themselves wide open. <laughs>